Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his what? RV? That's the dumbest Frank idea I've ever heard. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. That's a stupid, this is dumb. I don't wanna do this. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. How are they able to break, uh, I'm not even. Sorry guys, eh, no I have a bad attitude right now. I can't now. believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Dude, Chloe is totally gonna die this episode. Shit. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge oh up a Scooby God. snack to distract his mangy mutt. Oh my God, Chloe. You gotta find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. All you have to do is run in there, take them, and then rewind, and you have his Careful, keys. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. Okay. What are you doing? I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Are you gonna text your dad back? Maxine, Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. Don't apologize. Are you serious? Don't apologize to her. Look at this. She hasn't gotten in touch with you. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell is the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down the roof, from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Maxo Exo. Uh, she's only been there for like, what, two months? Like, school started in August, right? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Hmm. This is so creepy. Yeah, birds are dying everywhere. Look, there's, there's another one over here. Wow. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. Look at this one. Oh, this one, you don't get to look at this one. That one's just there. Okay. Oh, this one's here too. What is going on here? I don't know. What's this door? Where does that door go to? Alright, let's go into the diner, I guess. More nasty shit. Okay, Chloe, I didn't I don't need any updates, thank you. Hello, how do you do? What a dumb billboard. Everything's dumb. I'm gonna criticize everything. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? <laughs> you don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hmm. Why, why would I rewind? Yeah, okay. Hi. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. <laughs> See you around, kid. Salty. 
the ocean. Excuse me. Look, I can walk faster than you. I'm not. I'm not even trying as hard. Look at that. Look at that. I just cut in front of you. Are those ants? So ominous. Um, they're making a vortex. I'm just saying. How heavy-handed can this game get? Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. Yeah, that's probably the best one you've taken already. Or, so far. Not already. <laughs> hey, let's talk to you. Hi, how are you? I remember you. Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping <laughs> off the Blackwell roof. Yep. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. Don't say that. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. From back here? I don't know about that. Let's talk about Frank. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespasses. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Yeah, let's tell the truth. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Ooh, that changed something. Interesting. Hey, dead bird. Oh, you don't get a description. That's okay. Anything else back here? Okay, I'm gonna work my way back to the front. <laughs> oh, we already looked at that bird. Look at that reflection in the street. Hey, what? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses. Okay, yeah. Now dying animals? Oh god, that is so embarrassing. We've already, we've already looked at this. I'm gonna get trolled hard. You're not gonna get trolled. What are you talking about? Oh, this guy. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. That's what you said last time. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Mmm. Worst interview. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. All right. Maybe we should leave then. What if I could? Hell, even that shifty Rachel What's Her Face asked me once if I drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. It's not that difficult, you idiot. Oh, I hate you. Let's ask him about his truck, I guess. Hey, how's it Peachy. Let's talk about your 1977 Needham. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitchin' 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Yep. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. 
All right, you're still an asshole, but I guess I'll take a fucking nope, pick I of your- Nope, I don't want to go there. All right. We got an extra photo. That's gonna be the one we <laughs> we give to Mr. Jefferson. Just kidding, we're totally not gonna do that. Let's talk to Frank. But first, let's talk to other people Good in the diner. Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You didn't even eat your pancakes. Wait, we've already looked at all this stuff. Kate should have jumped? You should have jumped, asswipe. Who makes graffiti that quickly? <laughs> Who does that? <sighs> Fire walk with me. Okay, I now I now know that that's a reference to Twin Peaks. What is this? Shit. What are the other signs then? The sea and sky will turn black and living things die because of it. Who are you? Why are you writing that shit? I mean, you're probably right. Well, how do you know? What, what signs are you talking about? Maybe they're in here. Maybe I can talk to them. Not that guy. Not her. Nathan! Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Hi, Nathan. Look. I'm coming up to your booth all awkwardly. Aren't you going to say something? All right, let's talk to the cop. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's All right, fine, I get it. Hi, Frank. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... It's not gross. It is an acquired taste. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Is that what that is? It looks like a cookie. Oh, I guess it is beans. I thought it was a giant cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's key? Let's talk to him. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. It's true. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky <laughs> I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <laughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay, I mean, I guess. I'd rather not spill unless we have to. Let's talk to the- okay, now we can talk. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Oh. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Sorry, do Thanks, I know you? Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Wait, hang on. I th what about the black cop that was in here in episode two? I, for some reason, I thought you were him. Okay. Have I met you before? Because I don't remember that. Um. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. I can get all the instant replays I want, like this. Booyah! Max also hasn't had any uh, nosebleeds yet. There are there a lot of things that is. haven't happened. Thanks, in this episode that I kind of ex I'm glad would expect to, you know? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. 
Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Really? Hmm. What can I do for you, Max? Um, let's talk about other stuff. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Man, people are getting so weird about that. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. Mm. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. So, uh... I don't think that I can actually okay, use that information. Okay. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk about David Madsen. I feel Madsen. like David Madsen. Not for long. He's eager to be... That's true. Okay. Now we have that. Hi, Nathan. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. <laughs> oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. They've used the word. we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Okay. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. What a charming guy. Yeah, let's do it. A blood oath, huh? Um, come on. Good lord, why is it taking so long? Okay, so, uh, a blood oath? That makes it sound like there's some weird cult shit happening. Right? Yeah, 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 all that stuff. Thank you. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Let's see. Let's talk to Nathan about other stuff. Holy shit, what do you want now? <laughs> I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Libel? What? Okay. Anyway. Holy. Uh, let's see. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <laughs> uh, you guys are too easy. What can I do for you, man? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? 
Frank used to bet on dog fights. Oh. To his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Hmm, we're getting lots of good information. Let's talk to Nathan again, because there were lots of options for him. Holy... Uh, let's see. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies, just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. I see. Let's talk to him again. <laughs> there we go. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Why does everybody say spoiler alert? And why does everybody say twee? I've heard that word so many times in this episode. But that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora. Will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. As most it's of you know. To be honest with you, uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning what is happening in Arcadia. Bay. Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be? Is this global warming? What is causing all of this crazy weather? Great. Hi, Frank. Let's talk. What the fuck now? <laughs> Everyone is so friendly. David is after the gun. Save dogs. Buy drugs. Rachel's photo. Uh, okay. Let's do this. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Okay. Uh, bit. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. They put the keys on the table. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Yep. You won't even notice what happened. Dummy. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, let's let's rewind to before he put them on the table. That sounds good. Okay. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. No, My I want work here is done I'm, here. I want to know about the other stuff. Fine. So apparently, the way to get the keys is by talking to him about the dogs. Who knew? Hey, Harmax. Are we gonna have to save her from another projectile? Are you shitting me? Could have warned her about that. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Okay, well. Are 
shooting God. me? God, come on. Alyssa, watch out! <laughs> what are you thinking, Max? Right job, Max. All right, let's let's talk <sighs> to her. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Oh, stop. No. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fuck up. But you're an amazing friend. Stop. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Yeah, let's let's get together a posse. Okay. Hey, Chloe. I got the keys. Where'd you go? Oh, did you find something? My Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. Why does it matter? Don't throw it towards the road. He could get hit by a car. Get the treat, treat, boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? You're so now clever. Now snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. Frank's gonna the hear the dog. Now, but he might come back. Okay, I'm not gonna rewind. I'm not gonna throw it in the fucking road. The dog would get hit by a car. The joy of watering. Did you guys Damn. see that billboard? I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. <sighs> okay. So is Frank gonna shoot her? You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. You are not gonna hack shit. Are you serious? I think the doggy likes his bone more. You are not a hacker. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Yeah, it's weird, right? That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Hey, I have friends that have police radars. They're just curious. All right, it's no big deal. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Okay. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Okay, that's a little... I'm not sure I appreciate that. Anyway. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Oh. <laughs> he has a knife in his kitchen. How... How suspicious. Of course Frank gets the munchies. What is that supposed to mean? Of course he smokes weed. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. You are so judgmental. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Recycle, dude. To do. Life out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. How can somebody live like this? It's not that bad. The lighting is what makes it look bad. Just all the stuff is in the sink. If you take everything out of the sink, it's not that bad. Uh, okay. What is with the animal print mattress? Okay. This is. That's a pretty extreme lighter. It's a, it's a blowtorch. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? He's obviously taking them. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Katie. 
Let's see. Bruce, Johnny, uh, what is that, Tonk? <laughs> Nacho. Apparently Johnny and Nacho hit him up a lot. I feel entertained. No shit. I don't get it. Oh, we're gonna open the vent, really? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, Frank's stash. It's gonna come out here whenever he's done with his Whoa, beans. What the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, he likes animals, but he doesn't give a shit about people, so... Don't think I he's too sweet. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Yeah, well, we don't have that tool, do we? Is Frank going to deal online now? Noob's Guide to a Web Business. Maybe he has bigger aspirations, you know? Okay, um... Do we use the knife? Obviously, thank you. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Mm-hmm. All right, let's, uh... Let's open this one. Curses. Nothing here. Okay, Bro broken knife. I don't want the knife to break. All right. My blade will open any portal. Yeah, makes sense. Let's look in there. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night, I was being a monstrous bitch. A monstrous bitch, even. And took it out on you. And poor Pompadour? Let's go ahead and do this. Poor Pompadou. No way. He named his kid, or he named his dog Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Okay. What's that blue thing? Hmm. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Yes. She did. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. All right, let's keep going. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me. I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo. <laughs> oh, God. And we don't look back. I care about you, so maybe we need to break our routine. Okay. We got the... It's 2013. Hmm. Let's show it to Chloe, I guess. Here, look what I found. What a great wallpaper. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. Those aren't love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Ugh. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Including me? Chloe! Whatever. Is she gonna go confront Frank? Wow, really? What? Oh. I thought that a car was gonna hit his dog, and I was about to get upset. Nice knife necklace.